This is a quick video going over the beyond visual range mode for the F-15C for my guys in the 122nd. So first things first, let's go ahead and turn on our radar. We can uh, ch change the range from, actually we can go from 10 miles to 20, 30, 40, or excuse me, uh, 80 and now up to 160. So we'll keep it at 80 for now. As you can see, uh, we've got a target roughly. This represents this line right here represents 60 miles, so I don't know about 65 miles at this point. So right now the aircraft is in navigational mode. I don't have a circle or any type of weapon indication on the HUD or weapon selection indication on the HUD. So I'm going to take it to BVR mode, and now I have the dotted circle in the HUD letting me know that the aircraft is now in BVR mode. Also while the aircraft is in nav mode I'm selecting the uh, weapon fire switch as well as trying to fire the cannon. I can't do so but when I take the aircraft to BVR mode now I'm gonna go ahead and spray off a little bit of uh, 20 mil. I can fire the weapon. The aircraft is no longer safe. It's armed. So first things first. First mode we'll take a look at. Uh, the BVR mode has a range while scan mode and a track while scan mode. Right now the aircraft is in range while scan. Um, you're getting uh, indication that we have a target now coming up on uh, 50 miles but we don't have the aspect of the aircraft. We don't have the uh, the heading of the aircraft. We don't have the airspeed of the aircraft. We have no targeting information on that aircraft. So. Uh, one of the things that I do while using range while scan is I'll use the mode to actually let's push up the airspeed a little bit. I'll use the mode to actually uh, scan for targets out there. And as you can see, I'm getting a full scan search as indicated by the carrot going fully right and left on the radar scan. So when I want to see where a bandit is in the uh, in, in front of me, I'll use the, I'll use range while scan. We can also change the elevation. If you look on the left hand side of the uh, radar screen, I'm pushing the elevation of the uh, of the radar search uh, up and down. And this is very important because a lot of bandits will try to get beneath your, your radar scan in order to uh, close a distance on you undetected without the uh, threat of you firing on them. So. Uh, one of the issues with being in range while scan is that once I lock this bandit up, well he's jamming, but either way once I lock the bandit up, um, the bandit should be getting a ping from his RWR, his radar warning receiver. He should be getting a lot of little audio blips letting him know that he's being locked. Um, not the not the worst thing right now again because the bandit's jamming. Uh, Actually, I'm still getting information. Uh, but either way, once he's, I'm, I'm getting burned through right now at about 30 miles. I got burned through. But uh, that lets the bandit know that he's being locked. One of the disadvantages of being in range while scan is that I can only lock up one target at a time. And once I lock this bandit up, the radar fully concentrates on this target and is now, and is now not giving me information on other targets. Um, so if you take a look at it, the radar is letting me know that the aircraft is doing 318 knots ground speed, is heading south, 179 on its heading, type aircraft is unknown. Uh, in reference to myself, the aircraft is off my 358 heading, it's 18 miles away and he's, he's at 25,000 feet and uh, it's a single target track. So that's pretty much how I use the, uh, the range while scan mode of the aircraft. I use it to pick up aircraft, but once I pick up the aircraft, I, I typically will change to TWS. And if you look at the bottom left of the uh, B scope, you'll see TWS. Now, this gives me uh, additional air information without locking the air aircraft up. I can see its, its aspect to me, so I know it's hot because I see the tail coming down. I can see the aircraft's altitude without locking them up. I know it's at 25,000 feet. And I can lock multiple targets. So when I lock him, um, I can see him off the, uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see him as well, but anyways, when I lock him, take this in there, I, I get the same information that I got while I was in 
range while scan, but also can lock up multiple targets. So if there are two, three, four targets, I can lock them up and I can also fire simultaneously on those targets. So those are the bare basics of TWS as opposed to RWS. Um, some additional notes to, uh, to let you know about within TWS. While you're in TWS, your scan radius is reduced, which is why I said I'll lock aircraft up or I'll find aircraft and range while scan. And once I know which aircraft I'm gonna lock, I'll take the aircraft BVR mode to tr track while scan. Um, also, once I lock the aircraft, the aircraft is not going to get an audible warning that it's being locked. It's not going to keep getting those beeps from its its RWR, uh, letting it know it's being locked. It'll get the same uh, it'll get the same uh, amount of auto audio beeps as it got while I was just just scanning for him. So it won't let me know. It won't let him know that he's being locked. So what that does for me is it allows me to fire a missile on him and he doesn't know that he's both being locked and has a missile out on him until that missile is pitbull on him, meaning that that missile is using its own radar now instead of the aircraft's radar to home in on that aircraft. So anyways, these are the bare basic uh, basics of the beyond visual range mode and the F-15C. Again, uh, when I'm searching for targets, I'll search for targets in range while scan. Once I have a target and I want to engage that target, I'll take it to track while scan and then lock the target and then prepare to engage from there. Now, I'm not going to go over how to engage targets in TWS or how to use the radar modes. I've got other videos out for that. So hopefully this video is very helpful for you and uh, stay tuned for the next one.